Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Leo for the month of March. Um, if you're new to the channel, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself, that I am a clairsentient, which means that I, it's a heightened form of empathy through feelings I can feel past, present, and future. So if you are um, in a relationship and you're not sure where it's going or you're looking for some answers, I can um, feel what the other person is feeling in a relationship. Um, I've been doing this for many, many years and I would say I'm pretty darn good at being able to pick up energies from people. Um, I've opened this channel up about a year and a half ago and it's been fairly successful. And uh, so if you're interested in a private reading, because these readings always don't always resonate with everybody, um, there's a lot of you Leos out there that all walk different paths. If the reading resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, then you can always get a private reading from me. All right, I've decided to use the Lenormand deck again. It seems to be a very popular deck. So I will be using this deck and um, uh, they're red in pairs. So I only pull three cards. I actually let them fall out and they're the clarity cards and the jumpers. And those are the most important ones. And I'm pulling one card from uh, the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. All right, so the very first card is the Lily. All right. So there is the lily, and it speaks really about um, a liaison with a lover, all right? This is about perhaps the other man, okay? There's a lot of meanings to these cards, but because it's about love, this is, this is what it's talking about in this particular instance. And um, so it's, it's usually uh, a liaison that you're, you know, you're, you're ready to meet with another man, or an affair of some sort. Okay, so then the next card I that fell out is the snake. So because they're read in pairs, we have the lily and the snake, and it talks about a man and a woman sexual partnership. Okay, all right, and uh, so then we have the card, the snake. All right, so the snake in the Lenormand deck refers to problems, betrayal, backstabbing manipulation and deceit okay and it talks about um a rival um uh, so if this card is talking about the other man all right here's the rival um these two cards that are backing each other up here you have a uh, liaison with a, another man and then this is talking about a a, a uh, an arrival all right, arrival, not an arrival. All right, um, so then, um, so there could be a third party situation, obviously, that's going on between these two here. All right, so then the next card that fell out is the polar bear. All right, and we're going to match these two together now. So you have the snake and the bear, and the general description of these two is um, a man and a woman, businesswoman, and probably financial problems, but it could be two people working together. Somebody is in a power position here. The bear's description generally um, is about uh, personal finances, cash flow, or a boss. And in love, this card talks about... Um, an in charge kind of a person. This person could be entering your life or is in your life. They're dominant or a power struggle within a relationship and there needs to be more balance. But from what I can, from what I'm gathering here that there is a, you know, something going on perhaps in the workplace. All right. You have two men. If you're a woman, two men in your life, maybe one that you're working with that is above you could be a boss an executive someone from corporate if not it could just be a power struggle that's going on um you know here's you're going to be meeting this person pretty soon uh as in you know meeting up for that affair or whatever the case is you have this card that speaks about um uh the other person deceit you know that kind of a thing and um this one here is saying that there's, there needs to be more balance here. All right. Okay. So that is your reading for you Leos out there for the month of April. Oh, and the last card I forgot I pulled from uh, Doreen Virtue is separation. 
time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So something is happening. I got this for cancer as well. Cancer didn't have such a happy outcome for March. And I feel bad about that. And I got the same card here for you Leos. So something, per and, and nothing's ever written in stone. Nothing. These are just tools of, uh, they're just tools. And they are uh, potential of what can happen. All right. So this is the potential for this month. All right. And the potential of separation. Maybe you have that, that meeting with the other man. Man number one finds out and could be a separation. All right. So any of, any, of you, any of you out there, if that is going on in your life and you don't want this separation, just be extra careful. I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, go out and have affairs or whatever it is that you're doing. Just be careful. All right. Okay. So, uh, Again, if you're interested in a private reading, please go ahead and email me. My email is at the bottom of the video and uh, I will send you instruction on how to get a reading. I usually re apply, reply within 24 hours and have the readings out within 48. All right, thanks again. Have a good month of March for all you Leos. Bye-bye.